What's up YouTube? My name is RLD Hot Tamale and I'm here on the Epidemic here to show you guys a scripting tutorial. This is not scripted, in fact it's actually live, so bear with me on the mistakes. So we're going to go ahead and start with the block 16x16x16. 16 by 16 by 16. These are one of my favorite blocks and I really enjoy them. So if you press X on any object, you can go to Object Properties. That's what we want. We actually want to go to the very bottom where we can see Add Script. Once you see there, you just click A on Add Script and go back to the bottom and you have your condition. Now, Halo 5 works on a programming term called if and then. If the condition is met, then the action will happen. So what we're going to do with this block, we're just going to do a simple if on timer. So every time the timer does one second, then the action will happen. And what we're going to do is a rotation. Just like the ma uh, just like the uh, track that I have, RLD's, <laughs> the RLD coaster, what was the name? Uh, <laughs> I have rotating blocks in that one. And that's the same thing we're going to do here. We're going to make it rotate. Let's make it rotate like 15, uh, 15 units. We're going to have it rotate 15 units. And that's basically it. After we have that, let's go ahead and make the time. So every one, se or every one second, it's going to rotate 15 units. So all I have to do is just press B, get out of this, and boom, rotate. You can see the original position right there, rotate, rotate. And that's actually how you can make some cool rotating blocks, uh, kind of like how I had it in my racetrack. Now moving on to switches. Now switches are bitches, okay? These guys really, really like to move around. That's actually why I have it locked. They'll actually go to their original spawn point when you first spawn them in, unless you lock it. And even then, they, they, they're really finicky. So we're going to go ahead and unlock it for the sake of showing you guys what I have here. So this is, this is very simple. I have one script down here, and it is the condition is on interaction. So if I go up to this switch and press X, that is the interaction. What will that do? Well, it will send a message through the channel alpha. So anything that is on alpha will do its action. So I'll go ahead and give you a little see here if we go to this object I have that this object on message received from alpha it will move offset which is to the left and then I have this one will I think this one is change colors and then this one is despawn so let's go ahead and try real quickly boom see despawn move colors and you can actually have as many blocks as you want move to uh, on one channel like that so that was all on alpha now moving over here we have something a little bit different if we look at the switch here we have this is not this is on interaction but the action is not message send it is power set so what that means is when the power is turned on something happens or when the power is turned off something happens so I have this on toggle so you can actually toggle between the two with the switch now if we look at the object it will be manipulating I have when the I have two scripts here just to make things complicated uh, when the power is turned on it will spawn and when the power is turned off it will despawn so you can see condition power state uh, channels on Bravo because we don't want to mess with alpha over there state will be off and then it will despawn so just show you real quickly click it despawn spawn spawn do it damn it okay there you go see it does it I don't know it's like it's weird it doesn't do it immediately I guess it kind of does I don't know how the switches work I'm just making a tutorial anyways <laughs> and if we move over here we're gonna add a scripting brain now don't worry this is not as hard as it looks it's actually very simple what the brain does here is it lets you basically pass scripts through it so we have the very similar message received Charlie and then it will actually send a message to Delta so what that means is once I do a Charlie switch, it will send to anything that is on Delta. So what that works is we have Charlie here that will send to Charlie here, right? And that's actually going to make the block move forward. That's what I have them on. It's very similar to that block over there. But what I have differently is it will also do this Delta one because of the brain. So if I see, boom, it moves forward. Both of them do. What's the thing? What's well, the reason why we have the brain though is because if I want to just do a delta switch, it won't affect Charlie because the brain is only making Charlie go to delta and not delta back to Charlie. So I know that's kind of complicated, but here I'll show you one more time. In objects here, on received, it goes to delta, right? That's that's basically all you need to see. And so I can show you, click this, and it will move, move move right through there and that one stood still because that's how that works but if I click this one I don't know why I put a move forward don't 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 question me they both move forward see here I'll do it again can I do it from the back no I cannot okay so click move nope do it there see they move and I can just you could spam this if you want uh, and so that's basically that's just a very basic scripting guide and then from there you can make all sorts of crazy things like this 
So the script I actually have set up here is when the red barrel there gets destroyed, it will despawn the green tree, which are both on alpha, and then actually spawn in the fire and the dead tree, which are also on alpha, but with the receiving message being that they get spawned. The trick here, though, is that I don't know how to start a game with stuff not there. So what I had to do is I made a brain here, and when the match starts, the brain will then despawn all the fire and the dead tree. That way, right when the match starts, you actually don't get to see it. Then you can go ahead and then blow it up and then make them spawn in, which is kind of a cool trick that I had to figure out. Moving on to this one, this is a basic door that I made, but it's using the on and off script. So all I had to do was make these four triangles go with the on and off, and then what they're going to do is they're going to move, and then when you turn it off, they actually reset to their original position. So I'll show you right really quickly, you just click the button, open, click the button, close. Really simple, and it's very cool. I really hope we can make doors that actually close behind you. I don't know if I can make that yet. It's kind of it's kind of past my brain power to even think like that. Um, I know we don't actually have any scripts that happen with a Spartan just walking into them, like no script zones that you can just walk into, which is a bummer, and hopefully we'll see that in the future. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, leave a like, and if you didn't, leave a dislike, I understand. Uh, but anyways, my name is Arlde Hot Tamale, and I'll see you guys in the next one.